to the questions. Number one, verse two, son of a man prophesied against the prophets of Israel who prophesied and say to those who prophesy out of their own heart, hear the word of the Lord. What does it mean? What type of false prophets are the prophets in light of Jeremiah chapter 23? Question 2 in verse 3. Just says the Lord God, word to the foolish prophets who follow their own spirits and have seen nothing. What does it mean? And why did they do so? as even today they do. And how should we respond to whatever teaching? Question 3 in verse 17. Likewise, the Son of Man set your face against the daughters of your people who prophesy out of their own hearts. Prophesy against them. What does it mean? And the least prophet has seen stated in the Bible and what type of prophet has seen are here and how did God tell us to treat them in the last time in Ezekiel chapter 12 verse 27 28 son of man look the house of Israel is a saying the vision that he sees is for many days from now and he prophesies over times of far off therefore say to them there says the Lord God none of my words will be postponed anymore but the word which I speak will be done says the Lord God first the prophet said that God's word through Ezekiel prophecy was not at hand, not in urgency, but God's word will be fulfilled ritually and timely. The word of God will not be unfulfilled nor delayed. Ezekiel was a contemporary prophet of Jeremiah for telling in brief that Israelites would be carried away captive soon by Babylon unless they repent their sins and turn back to God. First one, and the word of the Lord came to me, Ezekiel, delivered whatever God gave his word without alteration. He was a true prophet, not false prophet who delivered or to the word or a different word. First to your son of a man, O Ezekiel, prophesy against the prophets of Israel, or prophesy against the first prophets of Israel. Deliver his word against the prophets who told the two Israelites that he is a false prophet out of their own hearts who prophesy and say to those who prophesy out of their own hearts. Hear the word of the Lord. That's the question one. Not from God. The second type of false prophets in Jeremiah prophecy. Jeremiah chapter 23 verse 13. First time. And I have seen fully in the prophet of Samaria. They prophesied by Baal and quoted my people Israel to our others' doctrine, not you know, God's doctrine, other doctrines as uh, uh, prophesied or uh, other doctrine is a thoughts uh, equal to God's doctrine or above God's doctrine. That is the first time. Second time is verse 16. The said the Lord of hosts, do not listen to the words of the prophets who prophesy to you, then make you worthless. In other words, uh, uh, in futility, in vanity. Own heart, not 
not from the mouth of the Lord, not from a dead is the second time. Third time is here, second time, their own heart, so not you know, from the mouth of the Lord. Third time, verse 20, the prophet who has a dream, let him tell a dream, and he who has my word, let him speak my word faithfully. What is the trap? To the wind, says the Lord. This is a day when spiritual appearance or as a spiritual of uh, the life, you know, experience that is uh, above God's word or equal to God's word. Spiritual experience is just a tool, not in you know, substance. First one is uh, and the oracle of the Lord. In other words, the spiritual burden of the Lord we shall mention no more, no, even if you cite the word of God, but every man's word will be his oracle, his burden, not from God. For you have perverted the words of the living God, because they cited the word of God, but they perverted the words of the living God, the Lord of hosts, our God. So we are going to explain this letter to the fourth five. Uh, verse three, question you. Then said the Lord, what you foolish prophet uh, to sorrow to the first prophet who followed their own spirit, uh, their own hearts, or their own imagination, or their own flesh. This one still second time of a prophet on imagination, on heart, on spirit, and have seen nothing, nothing from God. From God, they said in grief, God would not allow Babylon to destroy Israel because God loves his people, implying Israel did not need to repent their sin of idolatry. They time they worship with the uh, Baal, uh, Estrat, uh, Mammon, and so on, so many you know, idols, other gods, but neither comfort in their sin. Why did they do so even today? Why did the first prophet do so even today? The first prophet seek own gains from people, that's why, own gains. Own gains such as economic profit or money or power, they drawing power from people and the popularity or fame popularity. For example, Jesus' temptation, Matthew chapter 4, 1 to 11, first of bread, you know, stone make bread, second one is power, you know, if you are sorry, you may drop here, your kid uh, would not be broken. So that kind of a power. Then the other one, if you, you know, follow me, I can give you all things. It's a popularity, you know, fame. So that kind of thing. So in order to gain, in order to draw power, economic property, and glory, you know, that's why the first part is so. So they prophesy or teach what people desire to hear, to see. So, the uh, police people, regardless of God's desire. Cross reference by verse 2 Timothy chapter 4 verse 3. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. They don't like to keep on sound doctrine. In other words, the scriptures. But according to their own desires, because they have an itching, Years, they will heap up for themselves teachers. So you can hear. Years. Matthew chapter 7, 16. You shall load them by their fruits. Do men get a grave stones or figs? Thistles. So we should uh, discern, you know, the first prophet is uh, the fruit. Uh, that is uh, uh, first discernment, uh, but the uh, second discernment, Matthew chapter 13, 22, here a little deeper, discernment.
Now he who received the seed among the thorns is he who hear the word. The cares of this world and deceitfulness, which is a choke, the word, and he becomes uncomfortable. So, no problem because of dawn, uh, dawn problem. Matthew chapter 7, verses 22 and 23. Many would say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have you not prophesied the, in your name? Cast out the demons in your name? And done many wonders in your name. Looks in a good fruit, but we uh, subject to discernment. And then I will declare to them, I never knew you depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. Lawlessness is this Galena, Castilla. So, go to first prophet, yeah. uh, sort of for their own uh, prophet. Here is, uh, uh, for example, sin fruit, a good grape or a damaged grape by thorn, a good fig, a damaged fig by thistle, or not full, full grown fruit by thorn or thistle, or rotten fruit, should be subject to first or initial discernment. That in a sufficient we uh, already uh, read that. Matthew 7 16 and Matthew uh, 13 22. Then it's uh, like a equally contaminated fruit among good fruits, you know, apparent good fruit, but the equal. Equally contaminated fruit, you know, you should be uh, subject to you know, deeper discernment, right? Casting out demons or wonders look a good fruit, but also should be subject to second or deeper discernment, like by a lot of love to a personal gains. So that one is uh, uh, personal gains. So John chapter 15, verse 5. Galatians chapter 5, 22, 23, 1 Corinthians chapter 13, uh, 5, we'll read there, 15, 5, 5, I am the vine, you are branches, he who abides in me, I in him, bears much fruit, singular, this was a deep discernment, whether or not you have a lot of love and the fruit of a spirit, without me, you can do nothing. Galatians chapter 5, 22, 23. But the proof of a spirit is a love, a love, love. That is, it can describe it in variety of characteristics. Joy, peace, long suffering, kindness, goodness, faith, bless, gentleness, self-control. Again, such a joy is no law. First Corinthians chapter 13, 5. Love does not behave rudely, does not seek its own. Is not provoked things no evil, so not in you know, seek his own, but he first prophet seek his, uh, uh, their own. That is by the word of God, we should listen by the word of God and support doing. So we can discern. I like the love is the support to doing and the fruit of the support. Yes, and wonders are the support to doing as the gift of a supreme. The supreme is never against the word of God, but teaches all things. First Corinthians uh, chapter 12, uh, verse 10. To another, the works of miracles, to another, prophecy, to another, this is the gift of a supreme. Discerning of a spirit, and to another, different kind of tongues, to another, interpretation of tongues. John chapter 14, 26. But the helper by the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things, bring you to your remembrance all things that I say to you. Here in chapter 4, 12, Word of God is a living and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, 
coherency even to the division of soul and spirit. So only whether I can discern between soul and spirit and of joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts intents of the heart. Matthew chapter five and nineteen. Whoever therefore breaks one of the least of these commandments and teaches man's soul shall be called a list in the kingdom of heaven. But whoever does teaches it then he shall be called the great in the kingdom of heaven. So God, you know, want uh, uh, his servant to deliver God's word gently without alteration. Romans chapter 5 For those who live according to the flesh set their mind on the things of flesh but those who live according to the spirit the things of the spirit so in that way so how to respond to whatever teaching uh, we may accept reject or wait to accept or reject it whatever teaching by discerning with the word of God the doing of the spirit. So in that way, uh, whether or not the, the spirit doing or fleshy, so in that way we can uh, discern uh, that way. That is the first of four. Oh Israel, your prophets are like a foxes. What the false prophets are sneaky like foxes uh, in the desert. You have not gone up into the gaps to build a wall for the house of Israel to stand in battle on the day of the Lord. Not rebuilt the defensive wall against the Babylon's urgent invasion or battle. So with the, you know, the in the battle. So which words the word of God through Ezekiel? Ezekiel is delivered the right the Babylon's uh, urgent. Then it is here, Baba, you know. Chapter 12, verse 28, we already uh, read it. Uh, they have envisioned the futility or vanity and false divination or lying divination. So, this divine is a uh, false God's uh, you know, division. Saying, This says the Lord, those are not from the truth or the word of God, those are vanity and lies different from God's word. They are under curse of the sin uh, of a lie. Ecclesian chapter 1 verse 2 Vanity over vanity says a preacher. Vanity of vanity is always a vanity. Galatians chapter 1 verse 8 But even if we or an angel from heaven preach any other gospel to you then what you have preached to you, let him be accursed. Otherwise, accursed. Uh, the status of being accursed, then you are under the curse of sin. So, uh, the other one, then is saying, the said the Lord, this is the God's word, oracle, or spiritual burden, because of God's word. Because of God's word, that was supposed to bring them. But they, the Lord, has not sent them. The Lord has not, but the Lord has not uh, sent them. Yet, they hope that the word may be conformed. They, not sent by God, disregard the God's desire. But they use the word as they hope to please people. This is the first time, first time actually using God's word for perverted. Fourth type of false prophet in Jeremiah chapter 23, Shabbat 23, verse 36. For example, Satan used the God's word, Psalm chapter 91, verse 11, 12. 
is you are in God's desire to protect God's people in Psalm chapter 91. In order to gain or draw power from Jesus, it is Mark chapter 4, 6, and said, Satan said to Jesus, If you are the Son of God, draw yourself down. For it is written, He shall give his angels charge over you, or angels uh, uh, protect you. So in their hands they shall bear you up. Last, you dash your foot against the stone. So your uh, foot uh, and leg uh, will have broken in that way. So Satan perverted the word of God, but Jesus responded to uh, with the God's words. That is an example. Verse 7, have you not uh, seen a pure child vision, a vain vision, not from God? but either from a man or from a devil. And have you not spoken false divination? So lie divination. You say the Lord says, but I have not spoken. Therefore, this says the Lord God, because you have spoken nonsense and the envisions lie. So no sense to Israel who still practices the sin of idolatry and envisions lies, force of visions for peace upon not repenting Israel. So without the repenting, they uh, want to keep in you know, peace. So therefore I am indeed against you, really uh, against the uh, uh, force of uh, prophet. God will punish you accordingly. So therefore God said, I am against, so against the force of property. So really God is really uh, against the you know, force of property. Then verse 9, my hand will be against the prophet and the impedience of uh, uh, futility or uh, a vanity lie and uh, who divine lies. So here, divine lies. False God's lies, because God cannot lie, and no lie is of the truth. Titus chapter 1, verse 2. In hope of eternal life with God, who cannot lie, God cannot promise before time began. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 17, 18. Thus God, determined to show more abundantly to the heirs of promise. This is Abraham. Abraham, the father of faith, you know, the heirs, the faith, you know, promise of immortality of his counsel, confirmed it by an oath. He a promise and the oath. But that by two immutable things, promise and oath, in which it is impossible for God who uh, for God to lie, okay. we might have a strong consolation or comfort. We have a flat for refugee to lay hold of the hope set before us. So through is the faith, so we can you know have hope you know to seek. You know. So here, God is uh, impossible uh, to lie. First John chapter 21, I have not written to you because you do not know the truth, but because you know it and that no lie is of the truth, no lie is of truth. For example, Rahab's lie not commanded or not recommended, but by her faith she received the, the uh, supplies who delivered the God. The other one, Joshua chapter 2, verse 3 and 4. So the king of Jericho sent to Rahab, a uh, uh, prostitute, saying, Bring out the man who have come to you, who have entered your house, for they have come to search out all the country. Then the woman took the two men and hid. 
Then, so she said, Yes, the man came to me, but uh, I did not know where they were from. So, it's a lie, the white line is uh, for school purposes. They are lying, but it's not a lie. It's recommended, commanded by God. But here in chapter 11, 31, because of faith, by faith, the Holland Maha did not perish with those who did not believe. Believe is uh, uh, Canaanite people, non believer. But when she has received the spies with the peace, spies to believe God, you know, so they are accepted their uh, joy. That is David's lie, not commanded by God, but his lie caused the death of Ahimelech to give us a family, uh, uh, Abimelech's family death. First uh, Samuel chapter 21, verse 2 and 6. So David said to Abimelech the priest, the king has sought king, has ordered me on some business, and said to me, do not let anyone know anything about the business on which I send you, or what I have commanded you. And I have directed my young man to search and search a place. So the priest gave him holy bread, for there was no bread there, but the sure bread, which has been taken from people of the Lord. In order to put hot bread in its place on the day when it is taken away. So is a warm bread is changed you know, daily. So there is a cold bread given to David and David's soldiers. So, well, is David's lie actually not in you know, so a king over the David to do you know, some business, but rather than uh, David uh, ran away from uh, Saul's uh, uh, pursuit. First uh, Samuel chapter twenty two eighteen. 19. And the king, Saul king, said to Dog, uh, Dog who is uh, Saul king's uh, soldier, servant, you turn and kill the priest. So the Dog, the Edomite, turned and struck the priest and killed on that day 85 men who were lean and effort. Also, Nope, the city of priests, she struck with edge of the sword, both men, women, children, and nursing infants, auction and donkeys and sheep with the edge of the sword. So there is a lie, you know, the uh, you know, slaughter uh, to come out, you know, so come out, so we see that. Uh, also, unjust steward, do they come unjust stewards lie, not commanded, uh, by the law, uh, but the heat of preparation for the future commanded the Luke chapter 16, verse 42, 8. I am resolved with what to do, and that when I am put out of stewardship, so I would fire the steward job, they may receive me into their houses. So he unjust the steward called everyone, he the masters of debtors to him, said to the first, How much do you owe my master? And he said, A hundred measures of oil. So he said to him, Take your bill, sit down quickly, and write 50% 50, 50 discount. Not authorized by masters, but that's the line. Then he said to another, And how much do you owe? He said, a hundred measures of wheat. And he said to him, take your bill, write the 80, just count it. The master commanded it, the master commanded it. So recommended it to the unjust steward because he had dealt shrewdly for the son of this world more shrewd in their generation than the sons of a light, which meaning for future generation. Now, for the future, so they should uh, prepare. So, creature, son of a light, also should prepare for the kingdom of God in that way. So, uh, here, the
the divine life, divine life might be white life of peace to avoid Israel's bad feeling from immediate Babylon's attack. So that is avoidance, that is the white line. But so, whatever lies is no room of the truth. Paul said, whatever is pure, Philippians chapter 4, verse 8. Finally, brethren, whatever things are true, whatever things noble, whatever things are just, whatever things are pure, whatever uh, things are lovely, whatever things are good, whatever, if there is any virtue, and if there is anything praiseworthy, meditate on these things. So also, Revelation chapter 22, verse 15, outside of dogs, sorcerers, sexu sexually immoral, and murderers, and idolaters, and whoever lovers practices a lie. Whoever lovers a lie or practice lying outside the temple of God. So that is no room in you know, lie, even white lie. So keeping, so therefore, uh, keeping, uh, therefore, keeping silence is better than white lie. Unless the silence materially hurt another, unless the silence so keeps the, that is continually, uh, we see that, nor be written in the record of the house of Israel. No shall they enter into the land of Israel, then you shall know that I am the Lord. So they will not be in the book of life, Revelation chapter 12. And I saw the dead, small and great, standing before God. The books were opened, and another book were, was opened, which is the book of life. And the dead were judged according to their works by the things which were written in the books. So, two books, one is uh, uh, other unbelievers' books is uh, uh, how much evil, so according me, they will be uh, punished uh, by God and judge. But the other ones, the rule of life, you know, they will be worthy according to their spiritual uh, labor. So, uh, you shall know that I am the Lord God. God will fulfill His word ritually and timely. Then they shall know God. First time. Because indeed, because they have seduced my people, the first prophet enticed his people uh, to believe my people, saying, Peace, believe peace, when there is no peace. So the peace upon no peace to come by Babylon's invasion. So, and one builds a wall, and they placed it with untempered mortar. So, while a person builds a wall, the first puppy pastes the wall with the improper mortar or whitewash. They don't tighten the wall with the line. For example, they appear to deliver God's word, which is living and powerful outwardly, but indeed they don't deliver it because of fleshly desire. The second Timothy chapter five, having a form of godliness but denying his power, and from such people turn away. Matthew twenty three twenty seven word to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites. For you are like a whitewashed tomb, which indeed appear beautiful outwardly, but inside are full of dead men's bones and all uncleanness. So, verse 11. Say to those who placed it with untampered mortar that it will fall, 
there will be a flooding rain and new or great hailstones shall fall and a stormy wind shall tear it down. So like the house upon sand will fall, Matthew chapter 7, 26, 27, everyone who hears Jesus' sayings of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand and the rain descended, the floods came, the wind blew and beat on the house or tear down the house and it fell and great was in support. So today, most Christians say the Bible is important, but rarely study every word in the Bible. So it's better to study it and live accordingly by the Spirit of the Lord. Thank the Lord so much for the majority of CCH are interested in the Bible per se first and then the sin fruits such as the good fruit, wonders, one numbers. That is uh, verse 12. Surely when the war has fallen will it not be said to you, where is the mortar with which you placed it yet? A rhetorical question. Their whitewashed doings, their words, and they all are gone away by Babylon invasion. 13. Therefore, the says of the Lord God, I will cause a stormy wind to break forth in my fury, and there shall be a flooding rain in my anger, and great hailstones in fury to consume it. God allows Babylon to judge Israel in God's righteous fury and angry. Verse 14, so I will break down the wall, you have placed it with the untempered mortar, and bring it down to the ground so that its foundation will be uncovered. It will fall, and you shall be consumed in the midst of it, then Israel will be completely destroyed by Babylon up to the foundation of the house of Israel, then you shall know that I am uh, the Lord. Verse 15, thus will I accomplish my wrath on the wall and on those who have placed it with untempered mortar. And I would say to you, there was no more, no those who Christ to the end, God's wrath will be done righteously against the sin of Israel, including false prophets who placed the whitewash or is a police people. Galatians chapter 1 verse 10, For do I now persuade man or God, or do I seek to please man? For if I still please the man, I would not be a bond servant of Christ. Verse 16. That is the prophet of Israel, who prophesied concerning Jerusalem, and who see the visions of a peace for her when there is no peace, says the Lord. So they prophesied the false vision of a peace to Israel upon no peace to come immediately. Verse 17, likewise, son of man, Ezekiel, set your face against the daughters of your people who prophesy out of their own heart, still in the second time, prophesied against them. Pro uh, prophetesses, but false prophets, prophesy out of their own hearts or imagination. Uh, the uh, second type in Jeremiah, for example, Miriam, Prophetess Deborah, um, Hulda, or Anna. That is the example, this is question three. Then Miriam, the prophetess, the sister of Aaron, took a timbrel in her hands, and all the women went out after her with timbrel, 
and with dances you know, at the uh, Exodus, you know, Miriam is a sing song to uh, the prophet Taz. Judge chapter 4, verse 4, Deborah, Judge, woman Judge, prophet Taz, the wife of uh, Lepidos, was a judge in Israel. So, as a judge, uh, she ruled Israel at that time. Second King chapter 22, verse 14. So, Hezekiah, uh, the priest, I come, Akobor, Shaphan, and Isaiah went to Hulda, Hulda Prophetess, the wife of Shalom, the son of Tikkabar, and the son of Haranah, keeper of a wardrobe. She dwell in Jerusalem, the second quarter. So today, even today, in Jerusalem, fourth quarter, in a Jewish quarter, uh, uh, or is uh, Muslim quarter, you know, uh, Christian quarter, uh, uh, so Armenian quarter, uh, like, you know, fourth quarter, like that. Uh, and they spoke with uh, uh, he. So uh, here is uh, 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 the Judah, good king, you know, Isaiah, you know, that time. It's uh, the Hulda, you know, come out. Then look at chapter 2, uh, 36. Now there was one Anna, you know, Anna in uh, Jesus' time, Prophetess, the daughter of Phanuel, over the tribe of Asher. She was of a great age and had lived with the husband uh, seven years from her virginity. So that is uh, Anna. And uh, uh, blessed you know, the Jesus. So is uh, that is uh, process. But here, mediums, so in other words, force of properties or evil. First Samuel chapter 28, verse 7. Then Saul said his servant, Find me a woman who is a medium that I may go to her and inquire over her. And his servant said to him, In fact, there is a woman who is a medium at the end door. So then medium, the soul uh, is called, uh, is the summer of you know, the supreme, uh, summer of the dead, supreme, you know, kind of thing. Let me take a chapter nine. How should we treat them? Is, uh, that is the answer. How uh, should we treat them? Here, give no regard to medium familiar spirits. Do not seek after them, to be defiled by them. Consider defiling. I am the Lord your God. Let's get to 227. A man or a woman who has a medium, who has a familiar spirit, shall surely be put to death, subject to a deadly death penalty. They shall stone them with stones. Your blood shall be upon them. So, uh, that one. Verse 18. Prophesy against them. 18. And say to send the Lord God were uh, so sorrowful to the women who saw magic charms, magic charms, uh, pillows on their sleeves, and make veils uh, for their heads of their people. Then the veil, you know, uh, is uh, on the head. Bills, you know, kerchiefers, kerchiefers, it's uh, the handkerchief, you know, surround your neck, kerchief, bills of the heads of people of every height to hunt the souls. Will you hunt the souls of my people and keep your service alive? They practice witchcraft to entice the souls from God into uh, the familiar spirits or evil spirits. So that is uh, entices the soul you know, from God, you know, God's people's soul is into uh, the it's, uh, evil spirits, you know. You keep yourselves alive, but temporal. But in the end, the force of proper task will be destroyed by God. Is to keep yourself alive, that is temporal. Verse 19, uh, will you profane me among my people? The false prophet has to God through Israelites, 
for handfuls of barley and four pieces of bread. So that is uh, for handful barley. For the gains of economic benefits, then killing people who should not die, killing innocent souls, and keeping people alive who should not live. So the false properties condone or encourage the wicked to keep on sin, although the wicked should be destroyed. By your lying to my people who listen to lies, that is so bad. Let's have a question. 20. Therefore, the said the Lord God, Behold, I am against your magic charms, by which you hurt the souls still like birds. So because you like the hunters or birds deceive the souls by your magic charms, I would tear the magic charms from your arms. So let the souls go, I will let the seduce the souls free from you. Verse 21. I will also tear off your veils and deliver my people out of your hands. Tear the witchcraft tools of not only the magic charms but veils and let the seduce the souls free from you. John chapter 8 verse 12, 32. And you shall know the truth, the truth shall make you free. They shall no longer be as a prey, the seduced the soul will not be victims of the force of prophetesses any longer. Uh, in your hand, then you shall know that I am Lord. 22. Because of, uh, with the lies, you have made the heart of righteous sad. The false prophecy has made those who live by faith sorrowful whom I have not made sad, and you have strengthened the hands of the wicked, so that he does not turn from his wicked way to save his life. Your false prophecy uh, makes uh, the wicked more wicked, depriving the opportunity to repent their sins and to turn back to God for their salvation. 23. Therefore you shall no longer envision futurely nor practice divination. So no longer futurity, no witchcraft practice anymore. I will so because I will deliver my people out of your hands and you shall know that I am the Lord. God is promising to lead his people to the truth by servants of God, free from the practice of this false practice, let the Messiah come out. Gentlemen, chapter 23, 5, Behold, the days are coming, said the Lord, that I will raise to David a branch of righteousness, the king shall reign and prosper, eject judgment and righteous in the earth. So let us Messiah come. So we are covering all three questions, so let us sing all together on Bulletin, Lost the Song, right here, page 57, number 4.